And this graph uh, shows the diagnostic data, uh, particularly on the respiratory diseases. And according to their database, um, um, PRRS is the most significant, uh, uh, is most often uh, detected uh, pathogens in every year. So each bar uh, represents each year since 2006 to 2016. So almost every year, the PERS is the one that we found the most. So clearly that shows that you know, PERS is the biggest enemy in terms of peak health and in our industry. And I believe this is almost the same in Korea as well. And if you look at the other viral diseases, I mean viral pathogens, PCB2 can be also found uh, quite often, but not as much as PERS. There used to be a big disease outbreak on uh, a few years ago. However, uh, nowadays, and we, and we do not detect PCB2 as much as we used to, we still do. I also would like to uh, uh, emphasize uh, when it comes to PCB2, the detection of the antigen does not necessarily mean that it is disease. So uh, this is very important to have that in your mind uh, when, when we are talking about PCBAD. And when it comes to bacterial disease, uh, APP, pasteurator, strep cyst, and uh, mycoplasma high pneumonia. So those are the agents that we often find from the uh, either tissues, mostly tissues for those pathogens. So uh, just to provide you the information regarding what kind of pathogens we are dealing with every day as the economically significant pathogens. The same graph, but this is about intestinal diseases. As you can see, edema disease, E. coli or crossolidium from the suckling piglets, and the losonia from finishers, and uh, rotavirus and the PED are the ones that we are dealing with every day. You know, the disease such as PRRS or uh, PCB2 make a huge impact on the sewer industry, not only the farm basis, but the industry level. The blue bar shows the total number of pig producers in Japan, which shows you the trend that the number of uh, uh, total number of pig producers are decreasing year by year. So at this moment, I think we have less than 5,000 producers as a total in our industry. And this blue line uh, shows the average number of pigs marketed per sale per year. And the data shows that we are about 18.8 as average. And as a trend, it's slightly increasing, so we are becoming more productive uh, year by year, slightly. Even though the number of pig producers uh, are decreasing, so that's what it means consolidation. Having said that, for example, there was a year which was 1991 or 1992, is the year when PERS uh, came into our industry, starting showing uh, clinical signs, then our productivity went down. There was another year, which was 2004 or 2005, was when PCB2B emerged. I should say PCB-AD, because PCB2B infection does not necessarily mean that it's a disease. So then our productivity went down dramatically. Then we really thanked uh, pharmaceutical companies who provide uh, good PCB2 vaccines that are very effective, so it helped our industry a lot. Then you clearly see that our productivity went up. However, there's another disease came in, which was PD, in our industry, about 2014 or 2015. Then we went down again. And I believe that that was the same history that you're experiencing uh, in Korea, that you know, disease makes huge impact on the, I mean, they are creating significant loss, economical loss in our industry. And uh, we are having same problem every time. So we have to learn how to keep uh, those diseases in more efficient way. Otherwise, we don't know when the other diseases are coming. That could be African swine fever or that could be classical swine fever. So that's why at the end of this presentation, I'd like to emphasize the biosecurity.